Hello, everybody. We are in uh, Romans chapter 6 for our daily Bible reading. Yesterday, we looked at the amazing truth of the fact that we are saved by grace, which means unmerited favor, something we did not earn. Uh, so we're saved by grace through faith. And faith is the same thing as trust, by trusting in what Christ has done for us by living a sinless life, dying on the cross, and raising again, we can be forgiven of our sins and be made right, can be adopted into the family of God. Once again, not based on our works, not doing enough good things, but based purely on our faith and trust in what somebody else, who is Jesus, did for us. And so Paul transitions into chapter 6 saying, okay, well, if, you're, if you can't work your way into heaven, you don't have to do all these good things to, to get right with God, um, then can you do whatever you want? Can you sin as much as you want because we're under grace? That, you know, God's grace is amazing, it's lavish, it is there, so are Christians free to sin as much as we want? And Paul answers that by says, by no means, absolutely not. He says, if you've truly been saved, then we're moved from death to life. We're moved from doing unrighteous deeds, which are sin, to now being saved by God so we can serve God. Once again, not to earn our salvation, but as proof that we are saved. And so he says this in verses 12 and 13 of chapter 6. Therefore, do not let sin reign in your mortal bodies, so that you may obey its lusts. And do not go on presenting the members of your body to sin as instruments of unrighteousness, but present yourselves to God as those alive from the dead and your members as instruments of righteousness to God. And so, once again, Paul's urging here is, once again, don't live in, in sin, that sin should be something that is um, disgusting to us, it's something that we should be ashamed of, and so let us not uh, continue to live in that, but let's surrender our lives to being obedient to God, to serve God by um, how we treat and serve and love one another is a true sign of the fact that we are not seeking our own benefit, but we're seeking the benefit of others, and we're doing it for, for God's sake. And so, that's uh, the encouragement that we have from Paul today. And if you wrestle with this fact that we can't be saved by our works, um, a good short read is this book, How Good is Good Enough by Andy Stanley. Uh, we have copies of it at the church, or once again, if you have uh, somebody who thinks that if they can just do enough good things, they're really not that bad, uh, this is a great resource. Once again, it's a pretty thin little book. You can probably read it in less than 30 minutes. Um, and Andy just does a great job of explaining uh, this truth of Scripture, that we are not saved by works, but we're saved through the grace and the mercy of God through what Jesus Christ has done for us. And so let's be encouraged by that. Let's stay away from sin and let us serve God as instruments of righteousness.